Hi, my name is Donna Wellens and I am the Education Manager of ADEA and on behalf of the ADEA team, I would like to welcome you to the new learning management platform. We thank you so much for all your patience and understanding through this entire process. It is always challenging with new systems and your understanding has been very much appreciated. So in this video, I will give a quick overview of the system features, how to navigate the platform, highlight some of the sections, such as the credentialing uh, section, and also how to purchase courses, how to access the learning catalog, and a few other features. So let's get started. When you first log into the portal, you see that there are some main tabs across the top of the screen here. You also see your name, which will appear up here, and, and that is your account section. So if we click on that, it will open up your account. And in here, this is where all of your invoices that need to be paid, any uh, renewals, if they're due, this, this button will enable you to renew. And it includes all of your member profile details um, if you need to change your password and things like that. So if we have a look along the tabs here. You will see in the membership tabs, it also allows you to renew membership. In this tab here, we have a find a CDE feature, and this includes um, search capabilities. So we can search by postcode, but also by areas of practice, et cetera, clinic names. Um, if your practice does not appear in here, you can go back up to your My Account section and you can add your clinic or edit your clinics. If we go into Directory Profiles, um, this is where you can add your clinic, put in your clinic name, you can fill out any of these whatever you would like to appear on the platform. And once you're happy with that, save and close. And you can also edit um, existing clinics as well. So just click out of that one. And if we go back up to our menu bar here, we'll see the next one across is our education marketplace. And this is where you can purchase courses you may wish to add to your learning plan. If we scroll down, you can see that you can actually look at the courses before purchasing or enrolling, and it will give all the details, the learning objectives, any the course outline, any assessments associated with it. If you wish to purchase, you can update the cart, and it will allow you to either continue shopping if you wish to purchase some more courses, or you can go up to your cart and you can go through that process of purchasing. And once that's all purchased and you submit your order, the learning activity will then appear in your learning center within your learning hub. And we'll go through that in a little bit more detail soon. So looking at the next section that we come across is our credentialing section. And this covers uh, information around the initial credentialing process, if you are applying for initial credentialing and also re-credentialing. And we will run through that in a step-by-step -step process in some other videos as well. If we go back up to our credentialing button here, you will see there's a find a mentor button. And this feature connects you with approved um, ADEA mentors. And this could be either as part of the credentialing process or if you are just wishing to expand your scope of practice. Okay, so above this menu, button here, we have two other buttons. We have a Diabetes Connect button, and that's a direct link to the Diabetes Connect platform. And we also have the Learning Hub button here, and this takes you directly to your personalized learning platform. So we'll just click on that one and have a look at our Learning Hub. So you can see there are a number of key features here. We have um, our Learning Center and our Browse Catalog feature. This button here is what our latest learning activity is or what we're currently completing or what we've just purchased. And we can directly access that or resume it or start it in that section. If we look, um, touch on here, we, we can see in the left-hand menu, uh, left-hand side, there's a, a menu. Again, you can search catalog here. You can go to your learning center. It also has a back to member portal. If we click on that, it goes back to our main member area. And then we can go back to our learning hub. And also in this left-hand um, side menu bar, you'll see that there's a message section. So this is an inbox for any correspondence. 
And this can be from education, like if you completed a confirmation of, of enrollment or anything that's been submitted to assessors. So every little bit of submission or enrollment is actually recorded in your message inbox. Now, you will get these messages also sent to your email. So this is the email address that's in your profile section of your ADEA profile. And but this is just another inbox that you can check regularly. It's particularly helpful if you have submitted something for assessment because you'll be able to um, click into that and also review the outcome of that um, submission as well. So to go back to the learning platform, we can just click our home button and that will take us back to our main landing page here. And in the middle of the screen, we can see these two buttons. So if we go into our browser catalog feature, you have a wide range of learning activities to choose by category, and you can browse for the content most relevant for you. So if you just want micro credentials, it'll bring up micro credentials. Again, if you wanting more information, it will go through all the information about that course um, in more detailed, what the assessment is, um, what competency standards, and you can view all of that before enrolling. Now, if it is a course that does require purchasing, when you enroll, it will go back to that shopping cart feature that we um, just looked at earlier. And once you have um, gone through that process, it will then appear in your learning center as ready to start. So just going back to the catalogue, we have webinars. So again, similar process, you can just directly enrol into that. So any of the CPD learning activities on the platform, you will see that they have points attached to everything. They have certificates or digital badges. And you can view that if we go back to our micro credentials, you can um, view certificates awarded and you can review all of that and how many points. Now everything um, has a point has points attached to it on this on the um, platform and that automatically gets updated into your CPD log. And we'll go through that in a little bit more detail. Now that takes care of what's available on the platform but what if you have external training or activities outside or or ADA endorsed activities so if you've completed an external activity you can manually add that to your CPD log and how we do that we'll just go back to our learning center and we'll go into the learning center we'll see that there are four tabs here the current is what you are currently uh, um, your learning activities you're currently doing. So we can either resume or start here. We have completed, which is what we have completed, any submissions and certifications. So we'll, we'll touch on those in a minute. But to add your external activities, the, you can click on the actions button and this is where you add an external activity. So here you can either choose some endorsed activities or you can add your own if you've done like a diabetes uh, workshop. Of course, you would put in your full title um, and then you would go through and what date you uh, completed it, who it was. You put in a full description of um, the learning activity. You put what type it was. So if it was an external course, what category it belongs to and how many points. So say if it's a morning workshop, it might only be four hours. So generally one hour of learning activity is equivalent to one CPD point unless otherwise um, stated. So in order to, um, and please refer to your CPD portfolio and credentialing assessment guide for more information around all those categories and your points. So this section here is where we would attach our certificate of attendance, for example, so evidence of completion of that learning activity. And um, once you attach that file, you would create this learning, external learning record or training record. And once you're happy with all that, you would hit save. And that actually saves it to your CPD log. So moving back to our home button here and we'll go back to our learning center and we'll have a bit more look at the um, completed so we're, this is our current so if we go into our completed section 
we will see that our workshops um, will all be added down here. So if we have a look diabetes management workshop, we can see um, all of our credits and that that are in there. You also see a submission tab. So this is all the submissions that you've uh, put in. So whether it be to assessments or any feedback surveys, everything that you've submitted will be within this, this tab and you'll be able to click on that and view that. Now our certification tabs, this is where our credentialing programs sit. So this is attached to digital badging and it's it's attached to a certification program. So this is where initial credentialing would sit and this is where our re-credentialing program is. You can see that for our re-credentialing program, we have a progress bar as we complete our CBD activities. Activities are automatically credited. Any external activities are also credited to that. And we'll be able to go through that in more detail in the re-credentialing videos. So going back to our completed, so how do we print out our CPD log? So you can actually print that out by going into this completion section. If we go to our actions button, you'll see that we can print completed learning. So if we do that, that prints all of our completed learning, including our activities we completed on the platform, as well as any external. So you can see that it's added external training. So these are training that we have added and you can simply download that or print it. We can also download all our certificates from here. You can also look at your certificates um, by clicking on the actual program. So if we go back into our Learning Centre and we go into our completed, um, it will we'll be able to view our certificate certificates there. So if we view our certificate, it will show our certificate there. Okay. So to return to that page at any time, we can hit the home button. And alternatively, we can go back to the member portal button as well. So another feature of our completed section here is we can go into, if we want to print a particular area we um, or a particular date, you can put in your date here and that will just print out between those dates or alternatively you can print out according to your category. Okay, so that's pretty much, um, if we go back to our menu here, we can see that if we need any further assistance, they do have a getting started button here. Um, and it goes through a bit more detail on how to edit your profile, a bit about the catalog. So I hope this overview has been helpful. Thank you for watching. And for more information on the credentialing process, please refer to the credentialing videos. Thank you.